today's lesson is about self-reliance. So, welcome to the 500k challenge where the goal is to turn $7 into more than $500,000 in less than two years. Now, I think that you'll agree with me that most people would like to know how to do that. But in real life, very few will actually be able to do it. So, why? Well, they do not have the financial skills to do it. And the financial industry will never ever teach these skills to you. Because the moment that you know how to turn $7 into $500,000 in two years, I guarantee you that you'll never ever invest your heart and money with them again, ever. And, and by the way, uh, to go from $7 to $500,000 is a return on investment of more than 7 million percent within two years. So I think you'll agree with me that there's no way that they'll be able to do that for you. And this is why today's lesson is about self-reliance. Because I can guarantee you that you cannot depend on them to give you this kind of growth. So, if we've never met, I'm Hannes Dreyer. I'm the chief scientist here at the Wealth Creators Method, where I share the problems, the, the insights, the lessons, the experiences, and the skills that I've gained and that I'm using on this journey to turn the $7 into more than $500,000. Now, at this stage, I'm in week 15, as I'm doing this recording, and we're at $93,623. The goal of this challenge is to use this challenge as a financial educational platform to teach the mental skills that you need in order to be able to do the same thing. Now, if this is something that, uh, that may interest you, then please make sure to hit the subscribe button, make sure that you click the notification bell, because I guarantee you that you want to be the first to know when I'm going to post the next lesson in order to give you feedback on my progress and in the process teach you the skills that you can apply. I've, of course, I'm going to share with you the lessons, how I've learned these skills and that has helped me in the process, hoping that is going to help you. Now, if you want to know more about the 500k challenge and how this can help you, I'm going to leave a description just below this video uh, that's going to say welcome to the 500k challenge with the link next to it. Click on that link and perhaps listen to that video before you carry on with this week's lesson. And today's lesson, this week's lesson is called Self-Reliance. In today's lesson there are three tips uh, that I'd like to give you uh, regarding self-reliance and maybe the lesson how I've learned this or discover this for the first time. It was in 1987 and I was busy getting my CFP qualification. And that simply means that, and the reason for that was that I wanted to become a, a certified financial planner. Now, the reason for that was that it made sense to me that if you want to become rich and you know how to do financial planning, that you can use that for yourself, but at the same time that you can use the same skill sets for other people. So during that process, I was busy learning this um, and studying how to become a certified financial planner. But something weird happened because part of the curriculum is what they call investment planning. And I, for some crazy reason, looked at my budget. Now, I've seen this many, many times before. But on my budget, there's an expense line that says my a property. And I wanted to know, but what's the growth on my property investment? Because that was the biggest expense that I had. So I decided, well, it should not be too difficult, but once I started getting into it, I realized, but it's not that easy because your payments will vary and um, differ uh, simply because of the interest rate that you have to pay. And then I started asking questions because everyone will uh, tell you that your property is a great investment, but I could not find a way to calculate that growth. So I tried in the curriculum and there they only mention that property through REITs, Real Estate in Investment Trust. That's the best that I could find. And then people would say to me, it's area, 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 uh, or location, location, location. And that made absolutely no, no sense to me. So I decided to take the responsibility and to try to figure this out. And I started developing the Property Pro uh, system. Now, in that process, I made a couple of incredible discoveries. But the first one was that I could see that I could not rely on the financial institution to tell me and to give me guidance when it comes to real investments like real estate. And as I'm 
going through this process, I saw that there's actually 27 different variables depending on where you are in, in the world. And that each and every one of these variables is actually a risk. And then I made another discovery. And that was that these risks, I can mitigate that risk. Because the moment that I can understand the risk, I know the risk, I know what causes the risk, then I can do something about the risk. In other words, I can start building my skills to offset the risk. Now, to me, that was huge at that point. And another discovery that I've made was that the more I could offset the risk, the less money it would cost me, and therefore the more growth I would get on my money. And I could clearly see that it's the growth on my investment, on my money, that is what's going to make me rich. So eventually I discovered a free property, literally, where that property would cost me not a cent. They would actually pay me in order to get to the property. And I couldn't get it because on the one side, I'm learning about risk and about the standard deviation and that stuff like this is not possible and the higher the risk, the higher the growth. And yeah, in real life, because I'm taking the responsibility to figure this out myself, I could see that the lower the risk, the higher the growth and that I could manage the risk down simply by having the skills. Now, Warren Buffett, by the way, says that risk is when you do not know what you're doing. And because I became self-reliant uh, in terms of my thinking, the mental side, um, that became very, very clear to me. Now, I started telling other people about this and how great this is and how are we going to change the world and how rich I'm going to become and that they should be able to do the same. And guess what? No one wanted to listen to me. And the more that I tried to convince them and the more I tried to, to, to explain to them this, it's, it's almost like, like they, 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 they simply could not get it. But um, about three or four months after I, I, I bought that property, I went to a client and to do an analysis for him uh, because I'm studying to become a, a financial planner and I told him about this. And for the first time, someone just got it. Now, the interesting part about this client was that his highest qualification um, was that he passed his grade 10. In other words, he hasn't got a high school diploma. But he, he simply got it. And then he asked me another question and he said to me, Hannes, is it possible to use this program to determine the growth on a new business that I've started? I'm, I'm spending almost no time in, uh, on this business, but this business is generating serious, serious money. Um, now, he was an existing businessman and he had his business for 10 years doing very, very well. But this new business, he wanted to know the growth. So we made a, a couple of changes, made a, some, a, a couple of assumptions. And that night, as I went home, I said to my wife, Tanya, that there's no reason for anyone ever to be poor. Because I've discovered that not only can you start a business with no money on condition that you've got the skills, but that you can then roll that money back into a property by giving the security on the property and not actually using the money and get the property for free in the process as well. So it, to me, it was an absolute no-brainer that everyone should be doing this. But here's the, the funny part, because the more I tried to convince my peers about this and the more I uh, told my clients about this and what I'm doing and that they should be doing the same thing, that is, if they're serious to become rich, the more resistance I've got, the more people would tell me it's not true, it cannot happen, the normal st stuff that, that you find in life. Right, and by the way, I'm still sitting with exactly the same thing, where people see the obvious, I can prove that to them, I've got a system, I've, I've got a system in the cryptos, in the property, in the, uh, with, with business, and yet people will rather trust someone else that can't prove a thing than to trust the truth. Now, what are the lessons that I've learned from this and maybe that you can learn in the process by, by doing this. As long as you depend on someone else to tell you what to do and what can be done and what can't be done, you are going to be set up for failure because the financial industry does not want you to understand this. So I would say the first step is do not rely on anyone else but yourself when it comes to financial planning or to investments and even to teach you what money and the economy is because 
there's a vested interest for them so that you do not know this because then you are reliant on them and you're going to depend on them. So that's the first tip that I trust yourself and learn the skills. The second tip is that money and investment is a mental game. It is not, I can, I, I can teach you the, the property pro system in an hour or two hours. I can teach you the cryptocurrency system in an hour to two hours. I can teach you the basics of, of how to start a business with no money in an hour or two hours. That's not the problem. The problem is it's a mental problem that we've got. In other words, that mental skill, we haven't developed the mental skill and no one is focusing on the mental skills. And that is causing all the problems. Because of all the indoctrination, we start to believe the lies that the financial industry and the educational system is spreading. And because of that, we run a program to say that it is not possible to turn $7, as an example, into $500,000. And the moment that you believe that, there's a reticular activated system and the reticular activated system is going to distort, delete and generalize and even add information so that you believe and that it lines up with your belief system that it is not possible to do something. And if it's not possible in your belief system to do something, you're not going to do it. So it's a mental game. So the second tip is you have to become self-reliant by thinking for yourself. You cannot rely on someone else to tell you what is best for you. The third thing that I see and that I've discovered during that process, while I was working this program, I quickly realized that, but I can determine the growth, my internal rate of return on my property investment before I actually buy that property. And that to me is huge because I can get the competency. Now the competency simply means it's the practical application, in other words, the practical knowledge, applied knowledge. And I could get that applied knowledge without making the mistakes, without taking the financial risk to actually buy a property because I could do the analysis before I buy the property. So in property and with all investments, you make your money before you make that investment. But unless you've got a system, it's going to be very difficult. The second thing that in terms of is the experience. So I could gain all the experience. I've analyzed 133 properties before I bought my first free property, which were the 134th property. So you can gain all the experience as if you've bought 133 properties without paying the price for that. And then the third thing was that you, you, you get gaining the skills because I could see that there's the risk and what can I do to offset the risk? And by doing that, I'm gaining the skills. But more importantly, I figured out that there's a way that I can calculate, but what do I need to get on my growth so that I'll be financially free within the next five or 10 years? And that is exactly what I've done. And this is the third tip. Unless you know your financial freedom growth rate, nothing is going to work because you have to have a benchmark. And once you've got the benchmark, then you need to find the property or the investment that's going to give you that that you need in order to get to your dream. And we call that your IGR must be bigger than your FFGR. So that is crucial if you want to do it. And no one is going to teach that to you. So you have to rely on yourself to figure out, but what is your FFGR, your financial freedom growth rate, so that you can have a benchmark. Now, the moment that I showed this to that client, uh, Mario, he immediately started taking action. So what can you do with this information today? Now, the Wealth Creator Strategy, if I can give you a definition, is intelligent use of limited resources. That simply means that you have to be resourceful. You can't be resourceful by letting other people telling you what you can and what you can't do and how to do your own financial planning. And we rely on other people in order to be able to do that. Taking that into consideration, what are the steps that you can take? First of all, I need to know where I am, but also where do I want to be and when do I want to be there? That's the first step. The second step that you need to figure out is, but what must I do? And what you need to do, the only thing is you must make sure that your IGR is bigger than your FFGR. The third thing is, but how? That's the plan. There's only two plans that you can follow in terms of a financial plan. The one is the ordinary plan where someone else is going to tell you. We call it the conventional way of doing financial planning. 
And by now, I think that you know that that is not going to turn $7 into $500,000. And then the second way, which is the way that I'm following, is a wealth creator strategy. Now, the wealth creator strategy is the intelligent use of limited resources to go from where you are to where you want to be in the shortest possible time with the least amount of risk. In other words, to go from $7 to $500,000 in two years and achieve that goal. But to do that, can you see that I have to rely on myself? I cannot rely on someone else. They're not going to give me more than 7 million percent growth over two years. It is just not going to happen. And then I need to know my why because there's a lot of problems that you're going to hit the moment that you start this process. You're going to get a lot of naysayers. You're going to get a lot of people that wants to derail you and, and prove to you that you will not be able to do it. So your why is the fuel that you need in order to keep track and to make sure that you stay on the course in order to make this a reality for your life. And I hope that you can see that all of these and all of this that I'm sharing with you has got to do with your mental skill. And mental skill is one of the four high value skills that you need in order to become financially free and financially self-reliant. And then the last one, you must know who you want to be. In other words, what skills you need to have in order to make this goal a reality. What's the outcome of all of this when I applied it in my life? Well, I retired at the age of 37. In other words, this is powerful stuff. And I can show you what my, my students are doing. And this is what I want for you. And this is the reason why I'm taking on this challenge and give feedback on a week to week basis. And at the same time, sharing some of these skills and hopefully helping you to master these skills so that you can become a wealth creator, to be able to do this in your own life and with your own investment. But unless you're going to take the responsibility and unless you and responsibility, by the way, is a mental skill. And unless you're going to have the discipline, by the way, a mental skill. And if you are not prepared to become self-reliant, by the way, a mental skill. And there are many of these skills that we're going to share. You're not going to do this. It's that simple. So if this is something that interests you, I do have a webinar um, that's coming up. Uh, you'll find it in the description area. Uh, below this video and then uh, another thing that I can mention to you in that webinar um, I'm going to give you four gifts that is going to line up with this lesson uh, and that's going to help you to get to self-reliance and to understand it better and to apply it in your life so that you can have that freedom to be able to do what you want when you want where you want with whom you want without relying on anyone else or a job or a financial institution. So if that is something, uh, please make sure to subscribe uh, to that and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. Uh, I would love it if you can share this with other people and then uh, also watch that video that I, that I said, the first, the let's call it the origin video, in other words, where I started and taking on this challenge so that you can get background on that. And then the last thing uh, that you can do is uh, after you've shared this, of course, is simply um, to watch the next video in this playlist. So go back to the first one and then start with the playlist so that you can get a full understanding and learn these skills. So thank you so much for your time. And then I'm going to see you in the next episode.